With three weeks to go in the regular season, the Detroit Lions soar in the NFL Power Rankings. Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome to Detroit Lions Syndicate if this is your first time here. We talk all things about the Detroit Lions and from 1-6 and six to 6-1, six and one, we're always talking Detroit. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are 5 subscribers away from 7200. Help us get there. Got a new goal set of 8K by the end of the season. You can help me do that. The Detroit Lions are coming off their second three-game win streak this season and are 6-1 and one in the past seven games, only losing to the Buffalo Bills, and that was only by three. And after a steady climb in the power rankings, they did something that I haven't seen in a long time. Not only were they able to do what Matt Patricia has never done, which is seven wins, but they were able to climb out of that tough start at one and six and get back to 500 and now sit at seven and seven. And right now we need a Washington Commanders loss and a win over the Panthers to put us in the NFL playoffs. So what we're going to do, we are going to stream like we usually do on this channel. And then on the Gridiron Blitz, I am going to watch that game between the Commanders and 49ers because it will have huge playoff implications for the Detroit Lions, seeing as how if the Lions win and the Commanders lose, we by default will overtake the Commanders for the seventh seed. And we'll just have to wait and see what happens between the Chiefs and the Seattle Seahawks. If the Seahawks lose that game, then we will end week 16 with a playoff spot. Before we get into the power rankings, there's something that I want to point out. The Green Bay Packers eliminated the LA Rams yesterday, and they now move to six and eight. They are right behind us at number 10 in the NFC. They do have to go into Miami and face the Miami Dolphins in week 16. And I think Miami can take care of business. But if Miami loses that game and Green Bay has to come back and host the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions, I feel like that's something I don't want to see. I don't want to see Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay with something on the line the last two weeks of the season. So we are rooting for the Miami Dolphins to finish off Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. And without further ado, let's get into the week 16 power rankings coming from NFL. Dot com. Detroit Lions, 7-7. Seven and seven. Previous rank, 10. Current rank, 7. Up 3. The Lions can win ugly, too. Dan Campbell's grit monsters went to the Meadowlands and struggled to break through a stellar Jets defense until it mattered most. Facing fourth and inches at midfield with two minutes to play, offensive coordinator Ben Johnson, his head coach doc going up week by week, caught a brilliant misdirection play that resulted in a 51-yard touchdown for Brock Wright. The Lions have won 6 of 7, with an opportunity to move into NFL playoff position if they can take out the Panthers on Sunday. We actually play Saturday. A lot of these close games are starting to lean more toward us than them, said Jared Goff. That hasn't always been the case around here. We fully believe in each other and know that somebody's going to make a play and do something right. And those are all facts spoken by Jared Goff. I mean, early in the season during that 1-6, pretty much after the Commanders game, seems like we just couldn't do anything right. The things that were going our way now we're not going our way back in the early part of the season but I like what he said at the end of that he said we're all believing in each other and we believe somebody's going to make the play and do the right thing at the right time and that's exactly what happened Brock Wright had missed the pass wide open hit him in both his hands dropped it early in that drive and then came up huge in the fourth down and inches conversion I know watching it live I did not expect him to be so wide open once he got the first down I'm thinking maybe 5, 15 more yards, and that wind up being the deciding factor in the game. Last week, the Detroit Lions were 10, and now they sit at 7 in the NFL Power Rankings. They are above, just above, the Minnesota Vikings, who are sitting at 8. If now the Minnesota Vikings can hold on to that number 2 seed, and the Lions somehow get in and stay at 7, we will go into U.S. Bank Stadium and play the Minnesota Vikings for a third time this year. And honestly, that's the matchup I would like to see. I've been seeing in the comments section that people are talking about the playoffs like we are already there. And we're not yet, but with the win Saturday, we will be. And I think that that logic is ridiculous because I would much rather be here than talking about the draft. We started one and six. We've gone six and one. Why would we not talk about the NFL playoffs and the potential for us to be there? Dan Campbell said today that everybody's playing for the same thing. Carolina can still win the division if they beat us. So they got a chance to do that. And the Detroit Lions can 
get closer to that playoff spot if they win against the Carolina Panthers. So for us to have been talking about the draft seven weeks ago and now have an opportunity to talk about the playoffs, nobody's saying that we are there, but if we beat the Carolina Panthers, we will be. And if we finish our business and hold on to that spot, I mean, we can even get up to the sixth seed if we keep winning. So I don't really understand that logic, but to each their own. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Again, trying to get to 7,200 with the end season goal of 8K. If this is not your first time here, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions to the playoffs.